All right, guys, so where am I? Name that resort. It is the Omni Homestead in Hot Springs, Virginia, and we're back. Hey guys, what's up? It's Annie. Today I am back at another resort, the Omni Homestead in Hot Springs, Virginia, and I'm here for three days with 10 other people. So we're gonna have a really good time today. We're having a pool day, we're at the pool. It is early and I'm gonna take you around. So this is our awesome setup right here. We got here early, we got the umbrellas for the shade. Super excited, we're right next to the lazy river. But yeah, we got our setup going. All right, mom has found the rack of hats. They're too big for you? They're too big for me. Oh, good. Hmm. This is a bucket hat that says the homestead on it. Here's a purple hat. It was like a blue or something. It was even more expensive. I don't know. Yeah, this is a different I know. Brand. I noticed they don't have a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I noticed they don't have a mirror. Right? They don't have a mirror on purpose. They have goggles. And here are the many, many inner tubes they have here for the Lazy River. Look at this. It's really cute because they all say the Homestead 1766 on them. So yesterday we got a cabana and this was our cabana right here, cabana number one. And it was kind of cool because the people in cabana number two left early. So we also like used some of their chairs, but we decided today we got here early enough. We don't need a cabana, but yeah, it's still early. So it's very nice and quiet and serene here before all the kitties get here. So we just ordered drinks from Dahlia. She was awesome. And now uh, here's the menu they have going on right now. It's really cute. My favorite so far is this strawberry rose Paloma. Oh my gosh, that is so good. What a delicious drink. Mom and I also shared these grilled tiger shrimp tacos yesterday and they were so good. But yeah, they have a cute little menu here with lots of beverages, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and a lot of food, so can't go wrong. Morgan, we sat here one other time and it was nice. Yeah, it was during the afternoon. Yeah. No, I think it was our last day last time we came, and it was so nice. She had the water here. Oh, she does look like a tiny Charlotte. <laughs> I always love how there are these um, chairs right in the water, so you could be right in the water. Though, we've never sat there, I think because there's nowhere to put your bag, so um, yeah, but we could sit there. It'd be, it'd be very refreshing. No, it'd probably fall in. We should sit there at some point, though. Have you ever sat there? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's so cute, though. You want a piece of me. Morgan wanted y'all to see her drink. Why did I say y'all? <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> in the south. <laughs> Morgan wanted you guys to see her drink. Morgan, what'd you get? I got a deep end and it comes with a little shooter to it. Oh my God. What, what is that? I don't know, but I'm into it. <laughs> it looks like purple something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't cute. have the menu, but. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Oh, I have a menu. I'll check it out. Okay, so this is Morgan's drink. Oh, Kettle One Botanical Peach and Orange Blossom Contre, Contra, Contra, <laughs> Fresh Lemon Sour, Numi Chamomile Lemon Tea, Q Club Soda, and Butterfly Pea Flower Tea Pipette. That's what was in there. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I got a Strawberry Paloma, which I also got yesterday. It is so refreshing, so good. Look, there's little boba balls in it, and then little flowers that have glitter on them, it's so pretty. But yeah, had to get this drink again, it's so good. And then right above the cabanas, they also have tennis courts, which we've never been up to, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's just beautiful here, the mountains. Oh, I love this pool. Whoa, Charlotte! Here is the little tiny slide that leads into the lazy river. And then the big slides are up here. There's two of them. And it's funny because last time we were here for the pool, which was September 2021, I thought these slides were kind of intense, but now I don't feel like they're that intense. They're, they're kind of nice. And the cool things about these slides are there's a mini golf course right behind them that I wanted to show you guys. It's really cute. And yes, I'm still walking with my Bev. 
But yeah, there's a little mini golf course right back here. How cute is that? I think we might go in it later. But yeah, there is the mini golf course. That's funny, there's a sign there that says Oakmont, Pennsylvania, 266 miles. Quebec City, 920 miles. That's funny. Whoa! Morgan, are you gonna go down the slide? I may slide. <laughs> That's all? And that is all? And that is, that is where I will leave that. You got this! Woo! Oh! <laughs> Alright, Mom is hanging out in the lazy river. So is Charlotte. They're, they're having a great old time. <laughs> so relaxing. So we ran out of sunscreen and <laughs> we bought this sunscreen in the little store for $24.50. <laughs> um, a, little, a little steep in price, but uh, it's worth it. Morgan, tell us about your day. So my day has been pretty amazing. <laughs> I slept until 8.30. I mean, wow, that's pretty good. Maybe six if it's a good day. Yeah. And I slept until 8.30. <laughs> And then got up, went to breakfast with my friends and family. It was lovely. They sang happy birthday to Charlotte because we had a birthday gift in the middle of the table. <laughs> and then, uh, and then we came down to the pool. I bought a new homestead hat that I'm really into. And we've had some good pool cocktails. I we have. Highly recommend the deep end. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, we've gone down water slides. We've gone in the lazy river. And now I'm just gonna relax and read my book. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for organizing this, Morgan. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> I love getting the work together. So when we came in February, they were renovating Jefferson, so we weren't able to hang out here. But now it's all done and they have these really cool couches here. It's really pretty. And then as always, they have this outdoor seating as well, which we might sit in tonight. We have a reservation here tonight. And I think it'd be really cool. We've never sat outside before, so it'd be really fun. So this is the outside at Jefferson's. We've never eaten out here before, but look at those views. This is awesome. So cute out here. It is very sunny right now though, so maybe not the best time to eat out here, but this is beautiful. Lots of umbrellas. But yeah, this is really nice. Maybe someday we'll eat out here. And look at that view. Whoa. That is awesome. Yeah, I think they're cute. If you have a small group, you can't fit a lot on that table. That's the only thing. Yeah. I like the couches the best. I want that couch for myself. This little thing. Oh yeah, that's adorable for a drink. I gave Leah and Patrick a set of these when they moved to Texas. That's so cute. And then last night we went down to the game room down here. The kids were loving that. Down the stairwell. So for this trip, our room is right off the lobby on the first floor. They actually call it the 11th floor, but technically the first floor, but I think it's so convenient. I really, really like the location of our room. And we are right here in 1104. Our room is exactly the same as the last time I stayed here with my cousin Morgan in February 2023. So I will link that video above and below if you wanna check out the room in its entirety, but I'll just give you a little overview. This is the room with the queen beds very nice it is fully renovated it was just renovated in the last year which is awesome the only thing that's different from the room we stayed in february is they added this like cubby holder which is really nice i put shoes in there and then i have other things in the little drawers so that's super convenient i really like that and the closet is nice because it has a safe it has an iron and ironing board and when you shut the door, it turns off the light. So that's what we do. 
But yeah, lots of room for all of my stuff and all of my mom's stuff. So that's awesome. And then you have these big windows right here with beautiful shades and curtains. And then our view is of the pool. That is the entrance right there to the pool. You can see that little kitty pool with the little mushroom in the distance. So that's really cool. And here is the backyard of the resort. Beautiful, beautiful views. I love this view. Let me show you the other window. Yeah, so very picturesque. And again, this right here is the entrance to the pool. And then the other thing about the renovated rooms is they have this a really cute ice bucket that has the homestead on it. They also give you two waters every day, which is nice. I always need some water. They have this credenza and the TV. And then again, here are the beds. Everything is really nice. Very pretty colors. Very cozy room. When you check into the resort, they give you a resort guide for the days you're here. Ours is July 24th to the 30th. And there's just all sorts of things to learn about in these. What's going on? My cousin Morgan's parents went on the history tour today, which is 10 a.m. daily. And so they went in that and they said it was awesome. And yeah, you can just learn about different activities that are going on, where you can dine at the resort. Lots to do. So those are the guides you get. Make sure you ask for those as well as your welcome champagne. Don't forget the welcome champagne. Oh, I hadn't noticed this before, but here's the TV channel guide that tells you all the channels that you have on this TV. And it's right here under this glass. So. It's easy access, it doesn't go missing. That is very smart. But yeah, I love this view. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, I definitely love being on the back side of the resort. It's also beautiful on the front side. I have a video that I will link where we stayed on the front side. It was also gorgeous, but I don't know. I kind of like it on the back side a little better. So it was funny, my mom was saying this morning how the room doesn't have a coffee maker and how she thought that was unusual, but I just found the coffee maker. It is in the credenza. There's a Keurig right there. <laughs> so I guess just look in the credenza. There's also a little mini fridge. So good to know. This is Annie in the future and I just wanted to come on and do a little voiceover about this section of the resort. We'd never, or I had never been to it before. It's called the Commonwealth Room. And I guess they have all sorts of meetings and conferences in here. But what really stood out to me are these four paintings that are on the four different walls. And they are just so beautiful. I mean, look at that detail. That's supposed to be the homestead. Really, really cool. So I wanted to show you guys this. And recently they had a renovation to this room. So it might look a little different than if you'd been there before, but I thought it looked really beautiful. I loved the blue paint on the walls and the little homestead figures on the carpet. It was really neat. Morgan, is this Monticello? Yeah. yeah. Is that Tommy J? Tommy or is that Tommy J? He's having a compound. Which one is Tommy J? Who's the guy on the left? Not quite sure who that's Madison. meant to be, but he is short. It could be Madison. They live not far from each other. Oh yeah, it says Donovan Smith, 1957. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, and I think this is Mount Vernon. It's voiceover Annie again. I just want to say I really love the artwork in this room and I hope they never get rid of it. It's just so unique and I'm obsessed with the new carpet. So cute that it looks like the homestead.
I love these new chairs they have over here with the butterflies on them. They are so pretty. That was a really good addition to this lobby space. All right, we are back in the library. And now, since I came here in February, they have these chairs here. So it's a little bit of a different vibe, not the old chairs. This is cool, this game they have right here that says the homestead. And then it was cute because one of the little boys I'm with said, yeah, and it's all the fun things you can do at the homestead, like horseback riding, golf. It was really sweet when he said that. And then there's the state of Virginia. I thought that's really cool. And now the library has a lot of books here. They're all very white and cream, but lots to choose from. Mm, I just got some apple pie ice cream from Martha's Market. It is delightful. Morgan, what'd you got? I got lemon crunch ice cream. It is super good. It has little like lemon cookie pieces in it. Mm. It's really refreshing. Mm. Mom, you look very comfortable. <laughs> the big couch. Oh my gosh, I haven't taken a video of the 1766 um, bushes yet. That's like one of my favorite things ever. All right, we are now in Martha's Market. We got ice cream earlier. Here's donuts that my mom wants to eat all of them. I'm getting a Diet Coke. So my cousin Morgan and her husband Gessner got a suite and their suite has this giant patio, or I guess it's a sunroom. Yeah, a sunroom, which is really nice. Oh, and I guess you can open the windows. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, that's neat. And there is the front of the resort. Whoa, but yeah, this is pretty cool. They have this big room with fans going. Oh, it feels really nice in here. And then right in there, they have a living room that connects two bedrooms, one here and one right there at the other window and then a living room in between. How cool is that? This is a lot of fun. Feels really nice out here. Look at this. This goes right to the outside. That is neat. And then if you look outside, oh, you can see a bunch of hammocks. Kind of makes me want to go lay on a hammock. That's pretty cool. You know what I like, Morgan, is I like how this goes to the outside. Yeah. Like, you can see it on the outside portion. Yeah. Like, that's really cool to me. It is beautiful. Yeah. I love that you have this little porch. This is just so good. Yeah, it's so cool. Oh, is that the pool? Wait, what am I looking at? Yeah, that's the pool. Ew. Oh. So it's the pool and mini golf. Oh, it's the back side. The back side of the pool. Yeah. That's cool. Mom and I just got back to our room and look at the little gazebos. <laughs> They're all lit up. This one, I don't know what it's there. We need to explore that tomorrow. I think at their fire pits. No, it's something historical there, I think. We have to go explore those tomorrow. Yeah. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, our last day here at the homestead. We're checking out and going home today, but I kind of wanted to do a little walk around the property and check out spots that I have not been to before in my videos. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a very early morning walk and just explore, so let's walk. The front entrance looks so quiet and peaceful right now. There is pretty much no one out and about, maybe a couple people eating outside at Martha's Market, but it is super, super calm. I'm gonna go check out my favorite landscaping on the property. You know I love this 1766 bush. It is so cute. I always have to stop by and see it. But yeah, there it is. I love that. There aren't many resorts that have been open since 1766, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna go out this door right by Jefferson's and do a little walking. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is this morning. Wow. 
Look at the clouds. My goodness. So, so pretty. It's funny because this is my third visit here, but I still feel like there's a few things I have not seen. Like I've never been to the top of the mountain where they have like different events going on. There's just certain things I have not gone to. And I have, there's a little area over here that I don't think I've seen before. So I'm gonna take you guys over there. Oh man, it's such nice weather right now. It doesn't feel like summer in Virginia. The humidity is low and it just feels really, really nice to walk around. Oh, such a nice morning. But yeah, there are two little gazebos right here by the pool entrance. And I don't think I've ever explored what's in them. Let's see. So this one says Boiler Spring. The Boiler Springs naturally hot mineral waters have made the homestead internationally renowned as a spa resort since 1766. These clear waters emerge from deep beneath the earth, flowing constantly at 105 degrees Fahrenheit year round and have been greatly favored for their curative powers. Oh, very cool. This is neat. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been over here to check this out. Let's see what's over in this one. Must be something similar. And again, that's the pool entrance right there. I love the pool entrance because it has this like little pond that's flowing right in front of it. It's really cute. Hot sulfur spring. The crystal waters of this natural mineral spring are actually warm rather than hot as its name suggests. They flow constantly at 97 degrees Fahrenheit and enjoy a mild sulfur content, which made them popular for both bathing as an end as a drinking spring. Interesting. So that's cool. It just tells you a little bit about the history of the different springs. But yeah, right outside the pool here, they have this little pond. I love that. Look how pretty that is. All the sound of it. Beautiful. And there's the entrance to the pool, which I don't know if we're going to the pool today or not. I'm not sure if we're gonna go. Let's see what's back here. And there is the mushroom little, oh, we call it the mushroom pool. Yeah, we call it the mushroom pool because that mushroom water flows down from it. And the kids actually really like playing in it, even though it's kind of meant for little, little kids, but they enjoy it. There is another one of the hammocks. Look how nice that looks. And then right on the other side of the pool is actually the golf club. That's right here. I think a bunch of golfers are about to go out in their golf carts, which I don't golf, but I would just love to ride around in a golf cart. That would be fun. Ooh, look at the big clock on the very top of the building. I've never noticed that. Does it say the right time? Yeah, it does. That's cool. But yeah, so there's the golf club, which we haven't actually been into because I don't play golf. There's Jefferson's and their outdoor patio. It looks like they're doing some maintenance out there early this morning before guests get up. So this building right here is called the casino. And whenever someone says casino, I always get confused. But the casino was completed in 1895. And in that era, the word casino was frequently applied to a building that was home to sports of all kinds. Very interesting. That was and still is the casino's role. The original location of the Homestead Golf and Tennis Club, it serves today as the home of our renowned Golf Advantage School. Ah, very interesting. The casino continues to be a favorite rendezvous for a casual lunch as it has been for countless of our most illustrious guests, including President Dwight Eisenhower and the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. And maybe someday when I eat here of Annie, just call me Annie. Oh, look at the little flowers. Maybe someone's having a wedding today. But yeah, so this is the casino. I remember the first time I saw this in person, I thought it looked like a really nice college university dorm. Like I was like, oh my gosh, how awesome would it have been to go to school at a place that looked like this? That would be so cool. 
So right now we're walking toward the spa fitness center and I think they're doing con some construction over here. I'm not sure what doors are gonna be open or whatnot. I think the indoor pool, they're doing some renovations, which is awesome. That's gonna be really nice when it's done. But there's the spa down there. That's the spa pools. And I have a video from February um, showing all of that. So I'll link that above and below if you wanna check it out. Oh, this is the croquet. We might do this later. Oh, this is fun. I'm actually, have I ever played croquet? Probably, but it's probably been a long time. I am starting to get a little hungry. And I think this morning we're doing breakfast at Martha's Market. Yesterday, we did breakfast at the main dining room, which was really nice. It's a buffet breakfast. It's a little pricey. I think it's like $32 for adults. So you gotta be kind of hungry, but we wanted to do it at least once during our stay. So we did that yesterday, and I think this morning is Martha's Market. So that should be fun. Oh, here's the spa. And in February, this hot springs pool, warm springs pool was, oh my gosh, it was great. Most needed. Let's see, can we get in over here somewhere? Don't know. I love these gates that lead you to the spa. They're very pretty. And look how pretty the gates are with a little fountain behind it. It says the spa garden offers a variety of ways to take the waters. I love that, take the waters. Oh, and look, this is the construction they're doing. But it looks like we can go under, so that is exciting. So I, just, okay, so I decided to turn back around. It was a lot of uh, construction workers and hard hats and danger signs and things going on. But I'm excited to see the renovations once they're done. It's like they've been doing them in little phases, which has, seems to have worked out really well. Everything's looking awesome, so good stuff. Oh, here's the fire pit in the middle of the lawn. That's cool, that would be fun to do in the winter. This tree is so massive, like look at this tree. How old do you think that is? I mean, that's a really, really tall tree. I mean, it is on a little bit of a slope, but then it's really tall. Wow. Oh, you know what? I just remember that there's another little path off the side of the pool that leads you to the mini golf. So I wanna go check that out because I've never walked that. Look how pretty these flowers are. So pretty. I was saying yesterday how fun it would be if you could like rent out the pool just for your party or just for like a big event, like that would be so much fun. I just got engaged recently and I was like, oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun to have your reception at the pool and just swim down the lazy river all evening. That would be so much fun. But I don't think they do anything like that. Here we are at the front side of the resort now. They don't have a path that takes you from here to here as far as I can tell. You have to like go through the grass, which is a little damp. But here's the path that leads you to mini golf. Oh, let's see the mini golf prices. Curious about that. All right, family day pass up to five people, $50. Okay, that can be a good deal. Mini golf green fees, 18 hole round, adult 13, child 12 and under, $9. A <laughs> dollar twenty-five replacement fee for all balls not returned to attendant. That's funny. Oh, fifty-dollar putter replacement fee for damaged or lost putters. They must have issues with that. But yeah, I think the family day pass is a good deal. It's a cute little course. Very cute. And it's just by the lazy river. I don't know, where does this little path right here take you? This one right here. Haven't been on this one before. Maybe to this gazebo out here? That could be it. Oh, here's another, like this is another probably hot springs and like a plaque. Oh, look how cute. Oh, so that bridge takes you to the other side of the mini goth. Okay. I've seen this bridge from the slides over at the pool and I was wondering what that was. This is adorable. I don't know why, but this reminds me of Dollywood. I don't know, I'm just getting Dollywood vibes from this. If you haven't seen any of my Dollywood videos, I'll link one of them above and both of them below. They're, they're fun videos. We went during uh, the summer, the first summer of COVID, and it was a great time. 
Magnesia Spring. During the 1800s, medical textbooks proclaimed the therapeutic powers of specific types of spring waters, and the homestead's famous proprietor, Dr. Thomas Good, expanded the uses of our many exceptional natural springs to great advantage. The Magnesia Springs, so named for the primary mineral in its clear waters, was part of the original 1764 land grant awarded to Captain Thomas Burlett and upon which he founded the homestead. Oh, very cool. Learn so much about springs when you come here. And you can see the slide up there, or one of the slides. The kids love the slides. I actually really enjoy them too. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. I really recommend if you guys come here to walk around in the morning. It's a great time. It feels, it just feels awesome. There's no one around. It's kind of like your own private resort. So good time to walk around. It's not even that early. It's like 8.15, but <laughs> there's no one around, which is nice. Even with the renovations going on with the pool, the fitness center is still open. You just can't see out to the pool. They have that blocked off, but you can still use the gym, which is really nice. Lots and lots of machines. Is that a Peloton? Oh yeah, two Pelotons. Whoa. Oh, I want to use one of these Stairmasters. Look how tall they are. It's crazy. Oh, I want to use that. Man, I should have come in here. This is awesome. I would have loved to have seen a man work out in a three-piece suit. And Yeah, work out in three-piece suit. And then these machines. Ooh, it's making my camera blurry. Is that a ghost? Look. That was like, there's, that was weird. That was really weird. We've just taken a little walk to the town, which I've never been to. So this is so much fun. We're going to the little shops. So fun. We just came right through this walkway that's under construction, but we were still able to walk from it. Oh, that's cool, it says the Homestead Spa. I love a post office. Oh, here's a car coming, let's not get hit. Mom, come on the... Yeah. Mom, isn't this amazing? We love this. Hey guys, I am out for a walk around my neighborhood and I'm editing this vlog and I realized I never made an outro. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I love going to the resorts and sharing our experiences with you. Ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> sharing our experiences with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys subscribe and like this video and comment something down below. I would love to chat with you guys and until the next vlog, bye guys.